Hey guys, welcome to my um, next tutorial and this is going to be part 5B of the survival series and this is going to be the continuing part to the infantry system and today, hopefully this time we'll have a shorter video so this one's going to actually show you how to incorporate a more advanced element to your infantry system so we needed to make sure that when we used items in the infantry like before, I'll make and do an example if we press infantry, when we eat fish or use drink or use a bandage we need to affect the GUI elements that we have and then obviously not be able to let us go into minus figures okay so what we'll do is we'll open up our infantry script script again like we used last time so you can download that from my website if you don't already have it um, but obviously I'll up upload an updated version I'll zoom in a little bit and what we'll write under our show GUI uh, variable I'll write variable minimum val as type integer equal to zero. And then I also want another GUI, which is going to be a private variable called player GUI as type player GUI like we've done before. And obviously people have had this problem before because you need to make sure that player GUI within Unity, so the script is called this with a capital P, and your variable has got the lowercase. So then what we're going to do to start with, under here we'll start by writing a function update because we're going to want to find the script that we're going for. So, in the function start we'll say player GUI equals game object dot find open brackets inside first person controller where we've got the player GUI script dot get component open brackets player GUI so the name of the actual script that we've got in unity so we'll save that out and now we're going to write some things in the update statement so we can't go below minus one in any of our um, options for our items that we collect obviously you can go higher because you can collect as many as you want unless you set otherwise so we'll t make a few line breaks and tab across so just above the um, if statement for pressing I to open the infantry we're gonna say that if wood is less than or equal to zero then we'll add two curly brackets below and say that wood is equal to minimum val with a semicolon so that makes sure that if wood is ever um, less, less than or equal to zero it can never go below zero at any point then we'll paste it in again and we'll say that if stone is less than or equal to zero so we'll just pretty much write stone and we'll paste that in that's exactly the same we'll paste in exactly the same thing for clay so we'll say if clay is less than or equal to zero then it's going to be equal to the minimum value which is zero and then we're going to need another five more Oops, another five more for what we're going to be doing. So, one, two, three, four, five. And obviously we've got clay. And then after clay, we have fish. And obviously if you're confused, all these are up here. So our next one is going to be cooked fish. So we'll find fish where we had it and we'll paste in cooked fish so we keep all our variable names the same if you copy it from the top so next one is going to be bottled water so we'll paste that in here neaten that up paste that in again then we're going to have a normal bottle we're going to paste that in paste that in and then the last one is going to be bandage so we'll find the extra one we've got and then we'll paste bandage in here so this just means all our variables that we've got which held in the infantry will never be able to go below zero so obviously you won't be able to break your game so now everything's gonna say pretty much the same but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down to where we started with the GUIs to control obviously when um, we can press a button we'll eat the fish but we're going to actually want to affect the player GUI. So when we eat fish, we're going to get some um, hunger. If we drink some water, we're going to fill the thirst bar. Or if we use a bandage, we're going to heal ourselves. So what you want to do is create 
a function in each of these. So you can write a function by calling it e with two brackets and then a semicolon. Then one under here for bottled water called drink with two brackets and a semicolon. You don't have to have these names, you can have whatever you want. And then bandage as type heal with two brackets and a semicolon. And then each of these um, functions we're going to have to create below here. So we're going to write function eat with two brackets, two curly brackets below. Then we're going to write another function called drink, two brackets, two curly brackets below. And the last function as heal, two brackets with two curly brackets below. And then what we're going to do is obviously reference our other script that we started off, our player GUI up at the top, just here. And then we're going to, if we go straight back down to where we were, then we'll say player GUI dot hunger bar display plus equals 0.1 with a semicolon. So that just means we're looking for the player GUI script and the hunger bar display is the um, variable that we've got to control the bars going up and down and then we're just going to add 0.1 to that. You can obviously change those values accordingly to your game. Then for drink we'll say player GUI dot thirst bar display plus equals 0.1. I can imagine you can see where I'm going with this. Then for the heal player GUI dot health bar display plus equals 0.1 so we can save that out now if we go back into unity and you can see on your main camera what I'm going to actually do is make cook fish equal to 3 bottled water equal to 3 and bandage equal to 3 so you can obviously see we've got some values so far so you'll notice that thirst goes starts um, falling the fastest with hunger not far behind it obviously if i bring up the gui the the stop just while we've paused the game obviously you don't need to pause the game if you don't want to and then what we're going to do is eat the fish hunger goes back up goes down to two bottled water is it will go up then what we can do is obviously if you keep on eating then you won't be able to use any more and that's pretty much it for that um tutorial so that's all I'll be showing this time. Next time I'll show you how to pick up the items and go a bit more into depth with eating and dealing with your food. So hopefully that will be in the next few days. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.